Okay, I'm at Elgin Heritage Park in Surrey. And it's a heritage park because it's old. <laughs> The family that lived uh, here was, their name was the Stewarts, uh, the Stewart family. That's the old farmhouse. And um, of course it's been renovated many times. So it looks old. I mean, it looks young, but it's, it's really old. And this little building here was, um, a town hall. I don't know if you can see that up there. It says the Stuart Hall. And I guess they had town meetings. <laughs> Perfect little house or big house with a white picket fence. Now they used to have tours here like a few days a week. It was five dollars to get in and you could wander around and they gave you Give you a tour. Um, this is the first time I've come here and it's open, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is open. And we are in Surrey at the El Elgin Heritage Park. And it's also known as the Stewart Heritage park, I think, because they were the, um, the farm family that farmed here. Way down here is some uh, apple trees. And they're heritage apples because uh, they're like old varieties that you can't find in the store. Yeah, it's a beautiful house. I'm gonna have to go in there one day, pay the five bucks. It's probably 10 bucks now. <laughs> okay, this is old farm equipment. I did see a rat come out of a hole there once. It was either a rat or some other vermin. So if you see a hole, look for a rat. Oh, I see a cow way down. Okay, we will wander away. That looks like it's some type of um, storage um, shed. And there's a water pump here for water. Now these apple trees are heritage and the last time I was here was like last year in the fall or September, August, in the summer maybe, I don't know. But um, they had apples on them, they were falling in the ground. And as the sign says, do not pick the apples. There's over 30 kinds of apples here. Yeah, they used to have like a uh, small orchard here.
Now down here in the water, if the water is clear, um, you'll see empty oyster shells because there used to be an oyster farm right in the water here and um, the empty shells of all the oysters over the years is still submerged <laughs> in the water but the water will probably not be clear to see the shells but we'll see Yeah, the water's too muddy. Yeah, the water's too muddy to see. But I've been here when the water's really clear, and there's like hundreds and hundreds of shells. Maybe thousands. lying um, on the the ground of the water, if you want to call it that. <laughs> but this water looks pretty muddy. In the summertime, it's a good time to come here because you'll see... Yeah... It's Sunday, it's kind of crowded down here, sort of. During the week, there's a lot less people. But even when it's crowded, it's like, it's okay. Up there in the um, parking, oh yeah, there's the boats in the, in the parking lot for the boats way, way in the distance.
You now there's a trail coming up. Okay, no gathering because of COVID. Welcome. A few, a few dogs getting a good walk. People with their dogs. It's a nice walk through here.
that bench would be nice under this uh, tree. I think it's a weeping willow tree. Yeah, golden weeping uh, willow right there. Uh, birthday, birth date, 1978. Okay, that about wraps it up. There's just more trees down at this end. I think they have a lot of rabbits in here because I was here a year ago and uh, I heard this rustling in the bush. Thought maybe it was a raccoon or something because there's a lot of raccoons around here. And it was a big rabbit. They run away very quickly. So for those of you that have never never been here, uh, check it out. It's, uh, it's a nice walk, and it's very very um, beautiful in the summertime with the sun shining down, all the colors. I did see crocuses up um, on the heritage farm up there. I saw purple crocuses coming through. Oh, and they got some other... It's February, so... Those might be crocuses. The green, I don't know, there's something. Ducks. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it, I got a good walk out of it, okay, bye-bye.